Okay, so I tried using an airbrusher for the first time, and I'm going to take you on the journey. Um, just a warning. I don't know what that is. But um, if, if you want this to be a helpful tutorial, it's not going to be. I didn't do a good job. So more questions than answers. But those are the colors that I used. Um, this is my nail. I went ahead and put a layer of acrylic down. And then I put like a smid, a smidge in, a smidge? I, I don't know, of polish in there. And then some acetone. And I gave it a little, a little mixy. Then I came in and I, I tried to do the airbrush part and I, I did figure out how to do the pull the lever and press the button at the same time by the end. But anyways, um, I gave it a try on the paper before I put it on the nail and my, my first thought was that this is very wet. Um, it was like wet everywhere. So if you know how to make it less wet, please let me know because it was very wet. And then I came in with the other color and my second thought was these are not very opaque. Like it's not very bright. I feel like other people have done really bright ones, but the pink turned out pretty bright and same with the yellow. So maybe I just need to use more opaque polishes or more polish. I don't know if you know the answer to that, please tell me or comment below so other people know. And then I came in with blue and why did it separate? You see where it's like nasty and separated? Why did it do that? I don't know. So this is how they turned out. And then I put a really, really messy uh, base coat on and obviously I was getting pretty frustrated at this point so um I came in with these like neon dots because I, I wanted to give it like a Lisa Frank vibe my original inspo was nails by Latisse but it was going so poorly I don't even want to pretend that she was my inspo because I don't want her to be insulted by how bad of a job I did um so yeah by the way I set those dots before I came in with the black it's gonna bleed if you don't do that so make sure you set it in between I also set it after the base coat um, and then I came in and I, I gave it some cheetah print and then some, I don't know, zebra or tiger. I'm not 100% sure what animal I was going for here, but I was indeed going for animal. Um, but here it is. I went in a little bit, gave it a little extra pizzazz, and that's how it turned out. Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't hate it. Um, but then I did something I do hate, and I thought, I don't know, let's ombre the thumb. And it turned out really fucking atrocious. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm all just where I was at. But I put rhinestones on it to make it, I don't know, maybe worse. Um, but... This is how they look on my hand, and honestly, I kind of think they're cute on my hand, so you let me know.